Hey YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino today drinking a beer that was sent to me by the one and only king of beer tube. So thank you very much, Lee Russell Hoogley, for this beer. <coughs> Excuse me, this beer is the Boxing Rocks Crafty Jack English Ale. Ingredients, water malt, hops and yeast. 4.2% alcohol by volume, Boxing Rock Brewing Company Limited in Shelburne, Nova Scotia. Let's pop her open. Let's close my open. Pour into my barnstormer glass. was that dark? I did not expect that, I will be honest. I did not expect that. I expected that maybe a mahogany brown, maybe a ruby red, but not a black. Beautiful head as well. Not really a snap, crackle, pop. You're not really hearing anything on there. Uh, smell. Hmm. So a nice roasted malt, a nice little caramel, and just a toastiness. So roasted malt, caramel, toastiness, that's all I'm smelling on this. This is a beautiful beer. I even stuck my nose right in it. Let's try it. Cheers. Oh. Hmm. Very nice and roasty. Very nice and roasty. And... That roastiness carries all the way through. It's very malt forward, very roasty, very toasty too. You're almost getting like a um, you are too. Okay, you know what? I was uh, going into this not all that impressed, but at 4.2 percent alcohol, this thing has layers. Okay, beautiful caramel and molasses taste it. It's like a burnt molasses going through. You get that sweet molasses up at the forefront and then as the beer fades on your palate, you're starting to get a sweet yet caramelized sugar taste. So, nice burnt molasses, uh, a very sweet, very, very smoky, very deep and rich. Beautiful little thing. Uh, a little bit of dirtiness on the background and I'm getting a touch of pine on the background as well. Just bringing up a nice hop presence. However, it is smoky, it is toasty, it is sweet, it is malty. This is a malt maniac's dream right here, and I am a malt maniac, and this is literally my dream. I want more of these. Uh, this Boxing Rock Crafty Jack is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beer. I'm actually really impressed with this beer. Uh, I did just drink another beer, uh, the 100 Steps, uh, 100 Steps Stout by Royal City, where it was very sessionable and very nice and I didn't want to give it a 9 out of 10 because I didn't think it was complex enough to be in the top beers that I've ever drank list. I think this is deserving to be there. Um, again, it's 4.2% alcohol and it has layers. I mean, you smell it and you don't expect much. I take my first sip, I'm just getting a little bit of malt and a little bit of molasses and a little bit of caramel and then that roasty smokiness just starts easing up out of nowhere and the little touch of hoppiness comes from the background moving up and this is 4.2 percent alcohol and it has layers that just show up as you're drinking it and it's still there in my mouth right now that nice smokiness that nice caramelized sugar taste uh, this is an excellent beer this is an excellent session beer this is an excellent english ale and it's something that you don't see made all that well in Canada, well at least in Ontario at the moment. Every once in a while there's a few that pop up and surprise you, but you don't see it out as often as you should. And this is coming from Nova Scotia, which is a, as the King of Beer Tube says, a beer wasteland. And I'm not saying it isn't in uh, certain terms, but it, 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 I mean, this is coming out of a beer wasteland. And this is a beautiful beer that anyone in Ontario would probably love to get their hands on and love to get their hands on a bunch of them like I would love to have a 12 pack of this sitting around for when I'm out with the guys <sighs> I 
and it is so much like an English porter slash uh, it's like an ESB and a porter mixed together it's like a hybrid of a porter ESB and I love that about it uh, out of 10 and 9.25 I really love this beer I really love this beer I didn't think I'd ever give that to just a 4.2% alcohol English ale I didn't think I'd do it and uh I'm not saying it's the best tasting beer I've ever had, but it does deserve to be in the top beers because this thing does taste legitimately really good, and I could drink it all day long. And for that, it does deserve a 9.25 out of 10. Thank you, YouTube, for watching. Thank you, Lee, for sending me this. Now I'm pissed off at you. When I visit next year, I hope they make this uh, because I am coming to visit you next year. That is my plan. Next summer, I'm going to be in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick to visit all you maritime fuckers. And uh, hopefully that doesn't stop you from coming in May for my festival. But um, I will be there. And I hope they have this made. I hope we can go. Because I need more of this. I certainly need more of this. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.